After spending a good vacation at his hometown, Nikhil, who is studying MBBS, is returning to his hostel. He went to visit his grandmother, who has been ill for a while now. She was diagnosed with TB and is undergoing treatment. Nikhil lives with his roommate Shan. Shan stays at hostel and follows his regular routine, going to classes and study. He is a sincere student who maintains a rhythm, loves reading novels and participates in many medico-social events and workshops. Few days after returning from home, Nikhil starts coughing a lot but feels very weak. He is conscious and uses a handkerchief while coughing. Shan notices his regular coughing and gets very worried about him. Next day in the evening, together with their friends, Shan and Nikhil go to a nearby shop to chat over tea. One of their peers notices Nikhil and Shan coughing and sneezing. <laughs> Hearing this gets Nikhil thinking about the possibility that he might be suffering from something other than a seasonal cough. He starts to think about his time at home and all the precautions that he took, like avoiding close contact with the person having active TB, maintaining well-balanced diet to keep his immune system strong, keeping the house adequately ventilated, avoiding smoking or drinking, and maintaining a good respiratory hygiene. Within few days, Shan starts experiencing night sweats, fever, and extensive coughing. <coughs> Later that day, he wakes up and decides to go for an evening walk around the campus. He gets shocked to see blood in his sputum. He immediately goes to Nikhil to inform him about it. After hearing Shan, Nikhil gets very concerned and surprised at the same time. Both of them decide to go to the hospital for a checkup. Or a travel to any travel place in past one month? 
Yes, ma'am. Before two weeks, I used to visit a camp <coughs> for children and elderly people suffering from TB and COPD to work with the NGO and provide them care. Okay, you must have caught TB from them. <coughs> Don't worry, TB is completely curable now. Just take the prescribed <coughs> medicines and come up for routine follow-ups. And you? You take the prescribed antibiotics <coughs> earlier and you will be absolutely fine. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. Tuberculosis has been around for centuries. It remains a major public health problem in our modern age, claiming the life of millions worldwide. TB is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, which primarily affects our lungs and can also affect other parts of our body. If you are in close contact with an infected person, you can easily get affected by a droplet infection. Hence, awareness and early detection is crucial for combating TB. Just like Nikhil and Shan, if persistent cough lasting for more than two weeks, low-grade fever, unexplained weight loss, night sweats, fatigue, and sometimes coughing up blood in sputum is experienced by you or someone you know, seek medical attention immediately. Protect yourself and others by covering your mouth while coughing and sneezing and encourage others to do the same. Proper ventilation in workplace, public place and even in your homes can reduce TB transmission. BCG vaccination of every child must be done within one year after their birth. The Mantu Tuber Clean Skin Test is utilized for screening and testing of TB. It should be mandated for high risk groups. Completion of treatment regimen is a must so that you don't end up developing drug resistant tuberculosis. In India, National TB Elimination Program is a government-led dynamic program that aims to achieve this goal of eliminating TB as a public health problem. Let us join hands together to prevent and eradicate tuberculosis once and for all. Thank you all and stay safe.